Hello, today we are going to take you along with us to see the popular tourist area known as Hulo, where we will explore the drum tower and bell tower. The drum tower was built in 1272 and the area is now a popular hangout spot for locals and expats alike. Gulo lies in the central part of Beijing and along with its numerous alleys it forms one of the traditional parts of the city. The bell tower which is opposite the drum tower is actually said to be haunted. Legend says that the emperor at the time wanted a bell made, but the local craftsman was struggling. The fire was not getting hot enough to make a bell, so the local craftsman's daughter threw herself into the fire to make it burn hotter. It is said that the only thing left of her after the fire was one of her shoes, and today you can hear her looking for her shoe at the bell tower. As you can see, people enjoy coming here to play card games, sports such as hacky sack, or popularly known as jianzi, ribbon dancing, or the very popular Chinese game mahjong. This area is always very lively, and it is a fantastic spot to catch a glimpse of the local communities, enjoying a great time with friends and family. The sense of community here is really strong, and every age group is involved in various activities that contribute to the neighborhood. If you're in Beijing and want to look at what life in the city is all about, we'd recommend you to head to the Hutong areas. If you walk past the bell and drum tower, you arrive at this community square, where you see the locals enjoying their Saturday. This young man is getting a lesson in a very popular Chinese game, known as Kung Chu, or the Chinese Yo-Yo. In most public parks or areas like these, we can find a free outdoor gym. It's always fun to give it a go and has become a well-liked feature by many of the older local people in Beijing. After checking out the drum tower, we started to walk down the main street. The hutongs are known for their unique shops and this hutong is no different. There are many antique shops with old designer brands and many western style clothes as well. The local music scene is rather lively around here and there are many musical instrument shops. Along the main street, you can see lots of little streets that are still home to many local families. Today, there are only about 500 hutongs left of the once 3,000 hutongs that were in Beijing. Right next to this area is the popular Nan Luo Guxiang Hutong. This is where we took you for our thrilling street food walk. We will link the video in the description box in case you want to check it out. The Hutongs are also a place where people come to have fun and there are many activities we can take part in on this street. There is a petting shop where you can come and just play with little pigs or puppies.
Pottery has become a popular weekend activity in China, and there are many pottery studios along the street where you can come and make your own pots. This street is also a popular location for many tour groups, including those from schools all over China. Hello. Hello. <laughs> After walking around the hutongs for a while, we went to a favorite cafe of ours called Cafe by Alba. It is a warm and cozy French-style cafe that has really amazing coffee, as well as some delicious desserts. We usually come here early on a weekend morning, grab a cup of coffee, and then head out to explore the other hutong areas. The owner is always very sweet and kind and willing to help you out. They also have a rooftop here with a lovely view of the Hutong Street. So grab a coffee here, sit back, relax and watch the lives of the locals as they carry on with their daily activities. There are quite a few cute rooftop cafes and restaurants in this area. Take note that the Hutongs can get very crowded in the weekends and it's almost impossible to get seats unless you come out here early. Hutongs are the perfect place in Beijing to spend time, not just for the delicious food, but also for the wide range of activities and lively local atmosphere. They are what makes Beijing stand out from other Chinese cities so much, and a wonderful place to live in. We hope you enjoyed watching our video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more interesting videos shortly. Until then, see ya!